Good morning, everybody. So as you can see, we are inside the house. We will be doing uh, the verticals today. I've gotten a couple of them up there just to see how it was gonna go. But uh, it's very cold, very cold. It's eight degrees, if you can check out the side. We got some snow. Yeah, it's cold out there. So, like I said, we are uh, we put a couple of them in already. I'll show that to you. I'd be glad we don't have to step up on that anymore. Okay, let me turn you around. So, hopefully you can see that. So from seal plate down there on the top of the new floor, up, sistering the old two by fours up to the top. And what I'll probably end up doing is, I'll probably end up putting some, maybe a two by four or something up there for where it overhangs the other two by four, the two by six overhangs the two by four. Um, let me see if I can get closer for you guys to see that. So, see how that two by six overhangs the two by four seal plate up there, top seal. I'll probably end up putting something up there just so it holds that uh, piece that's coming out there. But yeah, it's uh, it's slow going, and just taking my time, doing you know two of them at a time. Maybe if I get comfortable enough, I'll start doing I'll start doing you know three of them at a time or so. But I wanted to do this this face here, this wall, and then that back wall, and then I'll jump on the the two side walls with the the uh, old floor joists are running with it so i'll put you guys on time lapse so you guys can see what's going on and that way i can get my my dang gloves back on Ugh. I've been going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid Glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark Alright guys, this is, uh, this is as far as I'm going today It's like 3 o'clock, 3.30 um, It's cold the corners, the corners are tough because they have two sandwiched together. Well, not sandwiched, but they have a spacer, a two by four spacer in between. And that creates a, a void, a, a place that you can't insulate. So I did the, uh, the, I think they're called California corners. They're like this. Let me show you. So they're like that. So my other two by four is back there. That way the insulation can get back there. The drywallers can get in there. Have a good place to you know screw their drywall to. Yeah. I like it. It looks pretty good. 
There's the bottom. They are nice and plumb. But the corners they are they are a pain. So I'm gonna clean up and uh yeah, I'm gonna clean up because there's a huge mess down there and I'm gonna go get warm. Good morning. This is day, I don't know what day it is. It's, uh, they're all merging together now. <laughs> but uh, we did get some work done. As you guys could see in the, the time lapse. Let me sh turn you around so you can see it. So, this here is where we've gotten We've gotten this back wall done. And we've gotten some of the old floor joists out. We still have about half, roughly half to go. We did take the door out. There's not going to be a door there anymore. So we framed that in there. And, uh, over here this is going to be kind of like a little hallway to come in just so there's not a, a door immediately to the living room and then <clears throat> over here on this side this is where we will put the closet for Misty my closet will be in the master and then her closet will be off the bedroom and then we'll have a door coming in this way and being able to access mine or access hers we'll have, still have to do that wall there still a lot to do in here but <clears throat> for the most part the house is or the master is standing on its own Minus, you know, obviously over here on this side and on this side. So, it's coming along though. Coming along. We don't even, we're not even sitting on it over here. We could take those out, those temporary walls out right there. The first eight foot. On this side here, we still got about a foot to go and it can be 
taken off there. <coughs> once we are, uh, once the house comes down off the old floors and it's sitting on its own, the new walls, we are, our plan was to, once it was sitting down on its own foundation, on its own walls, to do the French drains and get that all closed up, but it's supposed to rain for the next four or five days, so that kind of puts a damper on that because it makes the back here so muddy that you can't go back there. So, I don't know, we're... You see how this has this old like, uh, I don't know, it's like particle board, it's, it's crap. <clears throat> so, the plan is to go ahead and take that off, which I've always wanted to take that off ever since I've seen it, but to take that off and resheathe it with some, uh, some uh, plywood and get it all watertight and everything and then hopefully by then once it's watertight we can come in throw our boards on the floor where you at there you are throw the boards on the f uh, plywood on the floor get that all done so it's all you know watertight and the walls are watertight and then we can do the floor and then we can start framing out our walls for the inside here for the bedroom and the bathroom and stuff like that but it's coming along I really just want to get it closed in and, and watered watertight that way it's a little bit warmer in here it's uh this past week or so it's been it's been tough man it's been cold like I said I'm from Arizona I ain't never seen no temperatures like this it's been it's been cold but uh this was the main part the biggest issue we had of the house it's just it would be nice to be able to get this finished up and get us moved on and start start actually making this place look a little bit different you know I'm excited tired of seeing the house look like in an abandoned house <laughs> but uh yeah we'll i don't know how much more we'll put on here but uh i'll try to show you the finished product even if it's not this week's video but maybe next week's video we'll show the the progress and Thanks for tuning in and be sure to uh, subscribe and hit the like button, all that good jazz.